let's take a look at this problem from quiz number 13. So we need to go from this secondary alcohol over to this ketone. And the first thing you should notice when you look at this problem is that there is a different number of carbon in each skeleton. So if you look at this first molecule, it has one, two, three, four, five. So this molecule has five carbons, five carbons. And this molecule has one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. So we go from five to six carbons. So somehow we're adding a carbon into this molecule. And the way we're probably going to do that, the way that we learned this past week or recently was to use Greenyard reagents. So how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? So what I would do is I would take a look at this and I'd say, well, somehow we need to add a carbon, but also our, we don't have a bond to oxygen on this carbon anymore. You can see that this bond to oxygen that was on this carbon, there's now a bond to a, this carbon over here. So somehow we need to get a bond to oxygen here. Somehow we need to do that. So how are we going to do that? So let's take a look. Okay, and this is where it's really handy to know your chemical reactions. So what I do oftentimes is I go backwards and I say, okay, well, let's say my product is this ketone. I know that I could probably make it from, I could probably make it from this alcohol. If somebody just gave me this alcohol, I could treat this with PCC and dichloromethane, and I would end up with that ketone. So now I need to go from this alcohol, the starting material, over to this one. So I might backtrack a little bit further and say, okay, well, I know that I could make that alcohol, and this is the key step in the reaction, actually, is I know I could make this alcohol from this aldehyde. Okay, and the way I would do that is I would use methyl, magnesium bromide, and then I'd hit that with water to protonate my alkoxide, and that would give me this. So now I just need to, I've already added my carbon, I've shown how to add the carbon, so now I need to find a way to get from here to here. So how am I going to do that? So, I mean, you could just keep backtracking the way I was doing, but um, maybe an even easier way would be to look at it going forward. So if I go forward, What's something I can do with this? Well, I could protect this, not protect it, I could, I could turn it into a good leaving group, excuse me, using tosylate and pyridine, and then, or tosyl chloride and pyridine, and then if I treat this with potassium, uh, potassium t-butoxide, I'm going to end up with the least hindered alkene possible. So I'm going to end up with this alkene as opposed to this alkene. If I had treated it with sodium methoxide, I would have ended up with this alkene here. But that's not what we get because we treat it with a hindered base. We end up with the least hindered alkene. So now I'm getting closer to my answer. Somehow I need to get from here to here. I need to get from this alkene over to this aldehyde. And hopefully at this point, it's starting to become more clear. To get from this alkene to this aldehyde, I need to add oxygen somehow to this part of the molecule. So hopefully you're going to see, let me erase that, hopefully you would see, you would know from your, from your reactions that you would have learned last semester, you would know that if I treat this with borane and THF, and then hydrogen peroxide and sodium hydroxide, I will get an anti-Markovnikov addition of water across that double bond, and I will end up with this molecule. And then hopefully, you know how to convert a primary alcohol to an aldehyde. And this is where you have to be able to differentiate before, b between your different types of, of um, oxidizing agents. You wouldn't choose chromic acid because that would convert this primary alcohol to a carboxylic acid, and that's not what we want. You want to convert this for, to an aldehyde, and the only way that we've learned to convert a primary alcohol to an aldehyde is using PCC and CH2Cl2. So that is how I solve that problem. So first of all, you see we need to add a carbon. What are the strategies I can use to add a carbon to this molecule? And hopefully you know that the strategy would be to use a green yard reagent. And then from there, it's just a matter of making the right alkene, oxidizing it to the alcohol, then converting it to an aldehyde, and then proceeding on from there.